How are you feeling today, Amelia? I'm okay. I still can't sleep. My thoughts are becoming too much. And when I do fall asleep, in come the nightmares. When did these thoughts start? Do you know what caused them? It's hard to explain. I was there, walking my dog. I was just enjoying my time, watching him play. And then, all of a sudden, I felt trapped. I couldn't breathe. Close my eyes for two seconds. And then, all of a sudden, it looked like I was watching myself from afar. I didn't know what to do. My breathing became rapid, and then the thoughts began. Have you ever thought of what it's like to be in someone else's shoes? To see things from another point of view? That's how I feel every day in my own body. I'm trapped. My, my hands don't feel like mine. My legs don't feel like mine. My own head doesn't feel like mine. Who are you? Amelia, it's time to get up. It's almost noon. I've heard of this before. It's a form of anxiety. I've seen a few different versions of it throughout my experience. It's more common than you might think. Depersonalization disorder. What? Well, if it's that common, how come I've never heard of it before? Not a lot of people talk about it. I've had clients in the past explain similar things that you've been feeling. Some of them took up an activity to take their mind off things. Perhaps that's something you should consider. Maybe running? Okay, the session's nearly over now. When you get home, I want you to research the disorder. Try a few things to block out those thoughts. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are you feeling you're okay? I can see you. Okay. Are you okay? I can see you. Are you okay? Are you feeling alright? Stop. Are you feeling alright? I see you. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you feeling alright? I can see you. Just stop. Now I'm going for a run. I'll be back later. Had you ever thought of what it's like to be in someone else's shoes? To see things from another point of view? That's how I felt every day in my own body. I was trapped. My hands didn't feel like mine. My legs didn't feel like mine. My own head didn't feel like mine. I was a robot, a shrunken down version of myself trapped in my own body, watching my every move. The thoughts were overwhelming, but now, they're slower, not as frequent. I wanted to be free from this nightmare, and now I am.